Rub up your engines! All right, the cold holiday season is upon us, and along with that comes holiday scams. So I'm going to warn you about a bunch of holiday scams people are always pulling and how you can avoid them in the first place. Now one of the biggest scams of the holiday season is called jogging. It's not what you're thinking. It has nothing to do with jugs. It's a slang and it means people are watching you shopping. You're buying a bunch of gifts or expensive jewelry or maybe you went to the bank to get cash. They follow you home and robbed you. Then as you're opening your garage and coming in, they rob you all your stuff. They might rob your house too. So I know everybody's paying attention to their cell phones, looking at stuff all the time. They're not looking at the outside world. You need to, during the holiday season, be aware of your surroundings. And as the police have told me numerous times, make your phone your friend. Take a picture of the person. Once you have a picture of them, believe me, they're not gonna be bothering you, trying to rob you. He got their picture. I learned that years ago from the Houston police. There was a bandit going around. They ended up calling him the French door bandit because one of his things was he'd break people's French doors, rob their houses, right? He was robbing an auto zone. He stole a boom box and he was real fast. He ran out. Well, I happened to be able to take his picture. And they'd been looking for this guy for so long. I called the police and said, hey, this guy just uh, robbed an auto zone. I swear, within a minute, there was a helicopter flying. They've been looking for this guy for a long time, right? So when the cops came up to me, they said, hey, wait, yeah, you any pictures? I said, yeah, here's a picture of him. Well, guess what? They used that picture. And then later, he got caught robbing a house in the Houston Heights that had French doors, hence the French door bandit, right? But they were smart. They had one of those little animal cameras for taking pictures of animals. When they walk by it, it makes them take a picture. Well, it was a picture of him breaking in, going into the house. They knew it was the same guy, and he went up the river in Huntsville for quite some time. Realize, criminals, they live in obscurity. If nobody knows who they are, they can get away with stuff, but when they have pictures, once people know who they are, but let's say they're acting too aggressive and you're afraid to take a picture, hey, roll the window up, call 911. You call 911, they see you're calling the cops. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to go away and they're not going to follow you home and rob you. You just have to be aware of your surroundings. And another common holiday scam is put a dollar bill under your windshield. Now, the motorcycle's right here. It's easy to get to, right? But on your car, you got to reach over. Well, guess what? You're reaching over and they'll steal your Christmas packages or they'll rob you, take your wallet. If you get in your car and you see money on the outside, just drive away. Now, if you're a real cheapskate, don't use your wipers then. You can pick the dollar bill up later if you want. But for the sake of a dollar, you might be robbed. That's one of the biggest scams of them all. You see money or anything there? Just ignore it. Don't come out, reach and grab it. When you're reaching and grabbing out of your car, they might even steal your car. you got to be aware of who's around you. And that's something that the thieves have found. People see the money and they automatically gravitate toward them. They're thinking, money, I wonder how much it is. And then they're going to rob you. So, you see money on your windshield, just leave it there. Don't grab it. Maybe it's not even real, you know? <laughs> and even if it is, what's a dollar? They're going to take you for a lot more than a dollar. So ignore money sitting there. You walk to your vehicle, you see you got a flat tire. And there's somebody standing there and says, hey, you got a flat tire. I can change it for you. Now, of course, if it's a friend or a neighbor, hey, let them change the tire for you. If you're not used to doing it, maybe you're old and feeble like me. <laughs> well, I'm not that far yet, but one day I probably will be. Or my wife would never want to change a tire on a car. She did it once when she was going to the University of Buffalo. Her and her sister did it in a snowstorm. The funny thing was, they could barely see anything, but they saw the flat tire. So they went to a lot of trouble putting the spare on, and they went to move it, and they said something's wrong, and they had put the tire on backwards. So my wife's not gonna be changing tires anytime soon, right? Now with these thieves, they created the flat tire. They let the air out of the tire, right? And they just want it in so they can get into your trunk, rob you, and go away. Most people, aren't going to think twice when they see somebody jacking up a car, taking a tire, always oh, helping them out, they're going to go away, and then he quick grab the packages and runs away. So, you don't want to ever let it get that far. So if all of a sudden you come back and you see you have a flat tire and there's a stranger there, hey, 
Do this. Thanks anyways, but the AAA guys are coming to change the tire for me. And say this, whether you have a AAA card or not, and then they will have to go away. And even if you don't have a AAA card, hey, lie about it. I'm just calling AAA. That's free. Don't bother. And of course, always be highly suspect. If you drive in to a parking lot, your low tire pressure light isn't on warning you that your tire pressure is low, but then you come back and you have a flat tire, that's almost a pure sign that they let the air out of it because most cars have tire pressure monitoring gauges on them, right? So, once your pressure gets below a certain parameter, that light's going to come on. Let's say you got 30 PSI in all tires, but one of them only has 22. It'll turn that light on saying the other one is low, and it'll do it long before the tire's actually flat. So most of the time, if you got no warning lights on, and you come back and the warning lights on, you got a flat tire. Somebody made it flat. It didn't go by itself. Be very leery about anyone who comes up and says, oh, I'll change the tire for you. Don't let people get their way into your vehicle. Scam that these thieves use. Letting the air out of your tire. Which is another reason when you park when you're shopping these holidays. Park next to a whole bunch of people. Don't park far away, and if it's at night, try to park as close to the big lights as you can so everything is lit up and people can see what's happening. There's safety in numbers. And then people can't pull a scam that easily. And here's another set of scams. People sending you email scams. I've been getting tons of them this holiday season. It's wacky. Everything from your account is overdrawn. You forgot to pick up your $100 cash reward. They're all scams. And they are everywhere now. I get five or six of them every day. And so does my wife. She shows me, she says, is this real from the bank? I said, no, that's not real from the bank. It was from the bank. It would have the bank stuff on it. The banks never ask you for this information on the phone. They're not going to ask you for your credit card, your social security number. It doesn't work that way. But these scammers, they will. They'll either try to sell you something that's a phenomenal price. If you watch some of my earlier videos, even I got scammed. I went to buy a recirculating machine for refrigerant so I can recycle it, right? And I know the things are like three, 400 bucks and I saw one for 69 bucks and I thought, hey, great, I'll buy it, right? It was online, I thought, seems above board, right? Well, as soon as I did it, I get notification in PayPal that it said, I had just sent cash to this guy. And I knew immediately, you know, I've been scammed. Well, as soon as I pushed the order button, it just took money right out of my PayPal account. Don't ever send money. Or don't ever deal with people who say, oh, well, we take a gift card. Send us a cash gift card. Same thing. They just want your money and they pull in a scam. So if you see a really good deal, odds are it's just there to rip you off. I was stupid. I thought, hey, this is a three, $400 tool. I'm getting it for 69 bucks. Well, I never got anything except 69 bucks drained out of my PayPal account. And if you want to take it one step further, you see these emails that say you want $100 or, oh, this bill is due or you're going to be arrested if you don't pay it, blah, 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 blah. Delete that email. Do not even open it. Just delete the stupid thing. You see somebody, you don't know who they are, and all of a sudden somebody says, oh, well, you'll be arrested if you don't pay this, or oh, your bank account is overdrawn. It's just a scam to try to get information from you. And they're out there. They're out there everywhere. In this holiday season, they seem to be really ramping it up, just like they're ramping up the jugging in Houston. Instead of stealing the catalytic converters, which is actual work, they're doing the jugging, where they just rob the people right away and then take off with it. Part of it in Houston is because they've been stopping the catalytic converter thefts. They caught some theft rings and they were watching the people. And it is hard to work, then they got to fence it off somewhere. Even the police are saying, well, the people that used to steal catalytic converters are out doing jugging during the holidays. So watch out for this stuff. Be aware of your surroundings. And don't be fooled by sucker things like dollar bills on your windshield, a flat tire that just occurred while you went in the store and came out. Look around, see what's happening. You can use your phone, like I said. 
You can call 911. You can say, oh, I called AAA. They're going to come fix the flat tire. Don't worry. I don't need any help. They don't like their pictures taken. And of course, if you get that old camera, like you're going to take a picture and they immediately turn around and go the other way. Well, that's good for two reasons. One, they're not going to be following you home because they think you got their picture. And two, they're walking away from you, not towards you, because they think, oh, they got my face now. I'll have to go rob somebody else. So please follow all my warnings so you can have a happier holidays. People aren't going to try to rip you off. If you feel sorry for people, hey, donate money to charities for the holidays. Don't inadvertently donate your money and gifts to some thief who wants to take it away from you. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.